viewers how are you all today i hope you are all okay um today i bought for you tuna eclairs yeah it's uh, basically again very simple to make uh, and uh, it's a cold we will eat as a snack in a cold so i'm going to show you ingredient and then i'm going to show you how to make it yeah so we need here one cup of flour and if you want to do more quantities we have to repeat double so one cup flour we got here tuna drained we got very small small chunk of onion i have chopped lettuce i've got here three egg salt to taste butter to taste and i've got here we actually use parsley but i haven't got parsley so i put coriander and salt and black pepper and water one cup water one cup flour so let's get started first we are going to cook flour to make eclairs so in the pot i'll put one cup of water yeah salt to taste and butter approximately one teaspoon yeah so let it i will let it boil first proper when it's boiled i'll put flour meanwhile i will start to make filling from from tuna while my water is boiling i'll just prepare my tuna filling so tuna here i'll put some onion because it's only one tin of tuna i'm not going to put loads of onion just a half of onion uh here uh instead of parsley i'm going to put coriander because i haven't got um uh, and salt black pepper little bit uh sorry i forgot about mayonnaise so i'll put mayonnaise or salad cream so whatever you like so i put here little bit of salad cream here and mix it all proper first If you need a little bit more, just add. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put little bit of lettuce inside, and the rest I'm leaving for decoration. My lettuce. So it is very uh, like a, is a mayonnaise come here. So it's a mayonnaise flavor with a crunchy, crunchy with onion and lettuce. If you want, you can add little bit more mayonnaise. Can you divide mayonnaise? You can. You can use salad cream as well. So this is my filling ready. So first, now I'm leaving this my filling inside. Now, now, look. Now my water is boiling, but I'll let it boil a little bit more. Water is boiled. Now I'm gonna put the flour. And I'll stir it and make like a half moon uh, type of uh, dough. So look, I have cooked the flour in the water and in the butter and salt. So now look how it's now. Done. My flour is ready. I'll turn off my flame. Yeah. So my dough here is ready. I'll put in in this bowl here. So to make this um, fluffy flour. I need to pour egg here one by one and beat it properly. But for that, I need the help today. So my son Irbas from Irbas X A One, he's coming to help me. Please subscribe his channel as well. And Irbas, please can you come and help me here? So you're gonna help me. Say hello. hello. Hi guys, it's me Irbas X A One. Yeah, you're gonna help me to beat. I'll 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 break one egg and then I'll hold this. And you help me to beat this until my uh, one time. Then we will beat. Then another egg. When we beat again. Okay. okay. So can you hit? Can you beat? Sure. Like like I'll show you how. Like this. Have to beat it like this until the egg goes in proper. Okay. Because my my flour my dough should be fluffy. So okay. you do this. Yeah. Can you do for me? Sure. It's not very hard actually. Yeah. I'll hold. You do this with two hands. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. So we have to beat beat. This is how we have to do. Try to mix all egg first in in the uh, batter in my dough, and then after all egg is in, I'll 
I'll add another one and then another one and then I have to make a, a small small like small small spoon I'll put in there and put in the oven I by the way I have preheated my oven already add now my third and last egg yeah. now I have to beat it till my batter gets fluffy actually viewers you can do this uh, this one in a mixture as well cake mix uh, you can use in a yeah a hand mixer or cake mixer but I often used to do like this so I have done my this way but yeah so if you do in mixture I think you you will have much better result because in by hand you need too much strength to do this but if you don't keep beating uh, your bread does not come as what you want because I will show you the reason why to making like this after being done yeah so look it's ready it's gone fluffy now and it's ready so now i'm doing i'll take this out now yeah and thank you ibas for helping me huh? yeah now yeah now what i'm going to do i put here the tray i just need to use small spoon small spoon like this if I use big, the bread, bread for eclair will get very big. So I just pour like this. Here. See? I don't want big, big, big sizes. Medium. Small sizes. Yeah. They grow up and and they get fluffy from inside. There. Nothing. Because we are cutting in the middle and filling in with the tuna. Believe me, you will love it. And it's very practical for holiday. It's very practical for even birthdays, wedding, um, small functions. It's too practical to make. And it looks like a canopy. Small, small. So, I personally like it. I hope you also like it. Yeah. So, I'll finish here and I'll come back to you. So, they are ready. I'll put this in the oven. I'm not sure now how long for. I will let you know when I I find out my timing because I often make but I don't know what time. So, but you can check as well um, how long it took it. So I'll come back to you when it's ready in the oven uh, and I'll let you know how, how long for I have cooked this. So it's been 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Look, it's been cooked. Look. So you can compare between this and this. So look, they are fluffy, cooked properly. See? Yeah. So how is this and how is this? Look. So totally different. Look. So I think they are cooked. Let me check first. One. If it is or no. Yeah. So it's cooked. Look. But I'm allowing it to cool down in 5 to 10 minutes and then I'll come back to you so I'll cut in from middle look how it looks from inside like so I'll cut this all and I'll come back to you yeah, it's been cooled down now I have already cut it ne? so I'll fill this with tuna here like this and you can put some this again outside like this it's like a canopy but it's, it's trust me it's very practical for make and for eat as well you you feel as much you need you want you don't need to overfill like this and put more lettuce on there yeah. see how it is like this I'll come back to you when I finish, yeah? Mm. That's small and that's it. It's small, small tuna eclairs. I hope you, uh, you will love it. 
make it So viewers, I hope you have uh, learned a little bit new thing. You just need to beat little bit to get more fluffy and when you cut from inside, they got like nothing inside. So it all comes on two sides. So yeah, please like, subscribe and share with everyone. And please press the bell icon and keep watching. Thank you very much. See ya.